Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to discuss problems related to parallel resonance. The problem is find the value of L at which the circuit resonates at a frequency of 1000 radian per second in the circuit shown below. So here we are having a parallel resonance circuit and here we have to find the value of L whereas the resonant frequency of the circuit is 1000 radians per second, right? So here first we are proceeding with the admittance. So here the total admittance of the given circuit is nothing but, y is nothing but 1 by z, right? So here 1 by z1 plus 1 by z2. So what is z1? Here we are taking this part as z1. So 10 minus j12 because here we are having a capacitor. Here 5 plus j xl since here we are having an inductor, right? Now the next thing is we are going to take complex conjugate for the given thing. So what do you mean by complex conjugate? You have to multiply and divide this term with the opposite sign here. That is you see this term gets multiplied with 10 plus j12 and gets divided with 10 plus j12, right? Similarly, again for this term, this term gets multiplied with 5 minus j xl as well as divided with 5 minus j xl. So, here what happens? In the numerator, we are getting 10 plus j12 divided by, here you see we are having 10 minus j12 and the other thing is 10 plus j12. So, this is of the format a minus b and a plus b. Therefore, that is equal to a square minus b square. So, in the place of A, I am having 10 and in the place of B, I am having J12, right? So, that gives 10 square plus 12 square. Similarly, here 5 square plus XL square. The next step is, we are again expanding the given expression. So, we are separating the real terms and imaginary terms. So, when we separate, we are getting an expression like this. So, what happens at resonance, the reactive part becomes 0. So, this is our reactive part, right? So, when you equate this part to 0, what happens? You see, here we are getting an expression like this. Just when we rearrange this expression and finally, by solving this quadratic equation, we can find the value of xl, right? So, you see, when you rearrange, you see, I am moving this xl to the right hand side so it becomes positive right so again we are doing a cross multiplication after doing a cross multiplication just we are multiplying and making this expression simple form right so finally when you rearrange this we are getting a quadratic equation so 12 xl square minus 2 double 4 xl plus 300 is equal to 0 so again you see with xl square i am having an integer value 12. So, I am dividing this equation by 12. So, here I am getting xl square minus 20.3 xl plus 25 is equal to 0. Now, we are going to solve this quadratic equation, right? So, you can directly solve this equation using a calculator also, but I am telling the normal steps. So, here just write down the values of A, B and C from the given quadratic equation and just by using the basic formula minus B plus or minus root of B square minus 4AC by 2A. So, just substitute the respective values and once you solve, you see finally we are ending up with two values of XL, right? Because here we are having plus or minus, right? First we are considering a plus term and then we are moving with the minus term here. So, therefore, the value of XL is 18.98 ohm or 1.32 ohm. So, here finally, we are asked to find the value of L, right? Therefore, what is XL? XL, it is nothing but, so here, XL is nothing but our omega L or 2 pi FL, right? So, in the place of omega, you assume the value as, sorry, 2 pi F, you assume the value as omega, right? So, here what is the value of omega? It is 1000 radians per second. So, just substitute the values here and finally the value of inductance is calculated as 18.98 millihenry. Similarly, when you consider this value of 1.32, again by using the same formula, right? In the place of 2 pi f, you just have omega. 
So the value of omega is nothing but 1000. So just substitute and finally the answer is 1.32 millihenries. Right. So here comes the end of this problem. We will move to the next one. So the second problem is two impedances Z1 and Z2 are connected in parallel. And this combination is connected in series with Z3. So find the value of X which will produce the resonance. So here in this case you see Z1 Z2 are in parallel. So our circuit will be like this right. This is Z1 and this is Z1 and this is Z2. And finally this combination is connected in series with Z3. So this is your Z3 and here this comes in series combination. Right. So here we are asked to find the value of x so that the circuit will act as a resonance circuit. So first we are writing what is the formula for total impedance here you see these two are in parallel. So the formula is z1 into z2 divided by that is this is the formula z1 into z2 divided by z1 plus z2 and this combination is in series with z3 therefore that becomes plus z3 right so now just substitute the respective values here z1 into z2 divided by z1 plus z2 plus this is your z3 so again the next step is we are multiplying okay here we are multiplying these two terms so once you multiply here we are having the expression like this and again when you combine the real and imaginary terms here we are having 500 minus j500 so again you see when you take this 500 outside our equation is 1 minus j right therefore now we are going to multiply this term with this term so what happens so here we are having an expression like this right again here we are simplifying that is we are combining the real and imaginary terms so here 30 plus 20 okay here there is no j 30 plus 20 gives 50 and minus 30 plus 20 gives minus j10 right so again now we are again and again simplifying and finally we are going to find the value of x right that's it so then the next thing is you see we are going to solve this 500 divided by 1300 okay finally it becomes 5 by 13 and the rest remains the same and the next thing is we are going to multiply the terms right just simply by multiplying and again we are going to rearrange the real and imaginary terms together so finally what happens the imaginary term we are going to equate this imaginary term to 0 so when you equate this imaginary term what happens x minus 50 by 13 is equal to 0 which is nothing but x is equal to 50 by 13 so that gives the final answer as 3.85 ohms right so finally we have calculated the value of x so that for or what does this x means for this value of x the circuit acts as a resonance circuit right here comes the end of this problem now we will proceed with the third one a 50 ohm resistor is connected in series with an inductor having internal resistance a capacitor and 100 volt variable frequency supply as shown in figure so here you see here we are having a resistor right and that is an inductor which has an internal resistance okay so this represents an inductor and finally this connection is connected with a capacitor and finally the entire thing is connected to a source voltage of 100 volt that too with variable frequency right so the next is at a frequency of 200 hertz a maximum current of 0.7 amps flows through the circuit so at 200 hertz frequency we get a maximum current of 0.7 amps and the voltage across the capacitor during this time is 200 volt so find the circuit constants here what are all the constants that is l and c right so first write down the given data. R value is given, source voltage is given, the I max is 0.7 and the frequency is 200 and VC is 200 volt. So VC is nothing but I into XC. 
we know the value of voltage right and we know the value of current so with the help of this we can easily calculate the value of xc here then the next thing is we are, we are asked to find the value of circuit elements so l and c so xc can be written as 1 by omega c here right so again we need only the value of c right so just rewrite this expression so here we will be having c is equal to 1 by omega into 285.7 so again omega is nothing but 2 pi f so which is equal to c so just substitute the values of frequency and finally we have calculated the value of capacitance here right so under the condition of resonance, what happens? XL is equal to XC, right? We had already calculated the value of XC here, right? So, with this, we are now going to calculate the value of XL. So, XC is equal to XL. Therefore, XL is again 285.7. Again, just replace it with the formula. XL is 2 pi FL, right? So, here again, F is 200. So, just substitute it here and finally, the value of L is calculated as 0.23 Henry, right. So, here you see again we need to calculate R also because there is a resistance, right, along with the inductor, right. So, to calculate that, at resonance what happens? At resonance, here the current is maximum, right. So, we are calculating the total impedance here. So, in this total impedance, again you look back at the circuit. What will be the total impedance here? You see all these three elements are connected in series. So, we have to simply add these three elements. Right. So, here we are having a resistance of R plus R plus JXL minus JXC. So, at resonance what happens? XL is equal to XC. So, they cancel each other. Finally, we are getting 50 plus R here. And what is the impedance? So, Z is, it is nothing but V by I. So, V is 100 and I is 0.7. Right? At resonance, what is the maximum value of current? That is 0.7. So, just write it and finally, the value of R is calculated as 92.86 ohms. Right? Here come the end of this video. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.